It's Tuesday, everyone. Tonight we are reading Mickey's Rafting Trip. When they reached the water, one sunny summer's day, Mickey and Minnie, Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto headed deep into the woods. I can't wait to get to the river, Minnie said. Going white water rafting is such an adventure. Pluto barked in agreement. Well, you don't have to wait much longer, Mickey said, pointing to through the trees. Look, there's the river. When they reached the water, Mickey inflated the raft while Pluto unpacked the oars. Minnie secured all the gear for the trip. Down river, then the three friends put on their helmets and climbed into the raft. The water was shallow and still. One, two, three, push! Mickey yelled. He and Minnie pushed away from the shore with their oars. Then they paddled through the calm water toward the rapids. The trolls swished him. The trolls swished and bumped and shallowed their way down. The river suddenly, the river, the river. Suddenly, Pluto stood and started barking. What is it, boy? Mickey asked. He and Minnie lo both looked in the direction that Pluto was barking. Oh, Mickey, look, there's a bear cub stuck on that rock. Cried Minnie. Just ahead, just ahead of them, a soaping wet bear, a soaping wet bear cub stood shivering on a large rock in the middle of the river. He looked cold and scared. We have to help him, Minnie said, but the raft headed away from him. Quick, Mickey said, paddle on the right. The two friends pulled their oars hard, turning the raft toward the little bear. Mickey jumped out and pulled the raft near the rock. Hi, little guy, he said, turning to the bear cub. How did you get stuck out here? Bears like to swim, Minnie said. Maybe this cub is too young to be a strong swimmer. And the current pulled him out here. Let's get him in the raft. We'll take him back to the shore to find his family, Mickey said, nudging him gently. Mickey moved the bear cub toward the raft. The cub was nervous, but he seemed to trust his new friends. He stepped into the boat and sat next to Pluto. Oh, here, all right, here we go, Mickey said as, they, as he stepped in. He and Minnie used their oars to push away from the rock and back into the rapids. Look for a good place to land on shore, Minnie yelled to Mickey over the rushing water. The forest was thick along the river. Mickey and Minnie searched for the for a beach or another flat rock so they could safely land the raft. They passed trees, bushes, and rocky cliffs as they sped through the waves. The raft bounced and plunged. The bear cub snuggled close to Pluto behind, hiding his face. I see a spot, Minnie yelled. I see a spot, Minnie said. There's a little beach just ahead. 
Soon they were safely on the shore. The bear cub leaped from the raft. He jumped and rolled in the sand, then ran back and forth in front of Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto. He's probably the first bear ever to try white water rafting, Mickey said laughing. I don't think he liked it as much as we do. Look how happy he is to be back on land, Minnie said. What should we do now? Minnie asked. We can just leave him here. We're so far down river from where we found him. What if he doesn't know how to get home? I suppose we can walk back through the woods to help him find his family, Mickey said. As long as you don't mind cutting our acting trip short. The friends agreed that was a good plan and they packed up all their supplies. Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, and the bear cub headed through the forest, walk, following the winding path, winding path of the river. The, they climbed rocks, jumped over fallen logs, and crossed through streams. Pluto and the cub ran ahead, chasing each other around the trees. The sound of the woods are so different from the line of the river, Minnie said. I can hear the birds singing, crickets chirping, and the trickle of a little stream. It's so quiet and peaceful. Finally, the group reached a little, a little clearing with a rocky cliff. On one side, the bear cub ran toward a cave at the base of the cliff. Look, said Minnie, I think we found his family. A mama bear and two cubs ran out of the cave toward the little cub. The four licked and snuzzled one another happily. The little cub turned back toward Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto. They smiled and waved at him for the edge, waved at him from the edge of the clearing. Good luck, little guy, Mickey said. Be careful near the river, Minnie called. Pluto barked goodbye, and the three friends walked into the woods while the cub followed his family into the cave. I'm glad we helped that little cub, Minnie said. He looked so happy to be home. I know we plan to spend the day whitewater rafting, Mickey said. But I think we ended up on an even greater adventure. Yes, Minnie said, two adventures are definitely greater than one. I hope you enjoyed this book. Make sure to share and subscribe. Have a great night!